Right guys, welcome back to the second episode of this Smart Home Project. So we're here in Tunbridge Wells. Uh, behind us is our Claremont Gardens project. So in here we're doing a control for smart home install. So we've got uh, centralized lighting. So we've got a few areas in here that's got some lighting control going in. We've got uh, blinds going in. We have got CCTV and a security alarm going in. We've got uh, access points and network going in. There's a home cinema down in the basement. Um, we've got some audio zones as well, internal and external. Um, so yeah, come with me and I'll show you what we've got going on. Right, so we're on the first floor here and we have got one of our risers. So just in this corner here, we've got some of the infrastructure. So we've got our cables that are running from the ground floor up in this riser, which will be boxed in up to the top floor to serve the rooms. Um, so we've got some of our CCTV cables, our access point cables for the Wi-Fi, general data, uh, TV distribution, coaxial for the aerials. It's all here, all nice and neat and uh, tied up. So we've just got to finish dressing this in down here. We've got to get a couple of more cables up for some alarm points upstairs, but that's pretty much us wrapped up on this floor. Uh, as you can see here, some of the areas we've just left the cables out, ready to be plastered. Um, and then once the walls are plastered, we can get our cables into correct position. This is going to be an access point going into uh, the wardrobes that are built here. Uh, and that will serve this floor. So up in the soffits here, we've already pulled through some cables. So we've got two orange cables here, Cat6 cables for our cameras. Uh, and we've got a blue Cat6 here just in case if they pull the BT line into here, rather than them sort of clip down the wall, we can join onto that cat cable and take our services down to the rack. So we're just gonna get the cameras uh, on order and get them in before the scaffolding goes down. We'll get them protected because of the render and stuff. And at least that way, all we've got to do is uncover them uh, when all the sort of finishes have been done. Um, and yeah, that just means that we're out of this area. So in the back corner of the property here, we've got three coaxial cables. So we've got two for the Sky Q and one for the terrestrial TV. If we just look over here, we can sort of see other people's sky dishes are facing that way and the aerials are facing over this way. So we'll get the sort of Sky Q dish sitting in the corner here and then we'll get a swan neck mount coming out here for the terrestrial aerial. Um, so at least it's sort of tidy away from you know the main facade of the building because originally the sky cube dish was sort of halfway down the house all right last one over here so just at the side of the property here we've got our bell box cable for our alarm we didn't want to put it on the front um just because it might just not ruin the look but it's going to be a very nice building when it's finished so it's still going to be functional to the side of the property um but it's just tucked out of the way nice and neat so luckily when we walk around we're always checking this is a sort of future access point that's going to be going in the ceiling of the cupboard next door um, where they've come in and put some insulation in i've just found this tucked behind here and by the looks of things there's going to be a towel rail going on there so luckily we're always walking around and checking so i can now put this cable back where it's supposed to go so when i need it it's right where i need it So we've got two bedrooms upstairs and I believe one, two, three, four bedrooms on this ground floor. Every bedroom has got a TV point and data points pre-wired. Uh, in the master bedroom, we've got blind control and a panic button wired in. Uh, in this cupboard on the top floor, we've got another panic button wired in. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it up here. There's no light and control up here. It's sort of mainly on the ground floor and the external zones. So, um, yeah, I'll take you down and we'll run through those now. So here we're wiring a Control 4 keypad. So basically there's gonna be a nice chandelier hanging from here. Um, and there's gonna be a couple of lighting zones around the stairs and that sort of stuff. So once you're upstairs, you won't have anywhere to control them unless we put a keypad up here. So we're gonna have a Control 4 keypad next to a conventional switch. So the Control 4 keypad will just deal with uh, all of sort of the downstairs and the entrance area. And then from this point forward to so all the down lights and everything else will be from conventional switching. Cool, so this area is where all the magic is happening. So this is the open plan sort of entertaining area. Client loves to entertain. So we've got open plan kitchen here into a dining area and then a lounge here. So we're gonna have a media wall uh, on this wall here with a nice large Sony TV. Uh, we've got speakers that we've started wiring for here. 
Um, we'll have an access point hidden behind the speaker in, in this scenario. We've got another two speakers over by the bifold doors. There's blind control on those large bifold doors there. And just over here, you can see we're starting to get all of our cables down. Uh, excuse the mess for now, we haven't dressed them in. But just over here, you can see coming down from upstairs, these are all the cables that we showed coming down. So these will all be dressed in and then sent down to the basement where our rack will be located right next to the cinema room. So we've got a lot to get, uh, we've got a lot to get done in this area today. Um, we're hoping to get first fix wrapped up. So yeah, we won't bother going downstairs. It's pretty waterlogged. So we will just crack on with this area and um, show you what it takes to get a first fix done in a control for smart home. Project. Sam here is looking after electrical, so I'll let him run you through what's being done here and then we'll jump inside. Yeah, full full rewire, um, yeah, full installation of all the electrics. You've got loads going in, AC, um, you've got Ben's rack, um, loads of lighting control. Um, yeah, full installation, all new down lights, um, yeah, everything. What else we got going in? There's going to be an outside lighting plan. There's going to be, well, I think that's it, to be honest. So yeah, we'll take you inside and let's run through some bits. Right, so we've had a big push indoors. Um, now we've just come out to the back of the property because one, it's freezing cold inside and it's lovely and warm out here. Um, but if you can just see under here, that's the undercroft. So we now have to think about getting all of our services out to the front facade. And we're having to go from the basement, which is just over here. So from there, we need to work our way through this undercroft and then come out into the entrance. Uh, we're gonna put all of our cabling through ducting uh, which is going to go to our points so we're just working out exactly what we need and we need to make a quick call to the interior designers just to clear up on the lighting um, because they're looking to screen on saturday so we need to make sure that we've got our cables in place before saturday because um trying to make any alterations after that is going to be a bit of a headache so should we give them a call yeah go on and give her a bell hello speaking hey mel it's ben from b electrical and sam at claremont how are you hello how are you not too bad, Todd, not too bad. Uh, just a quick comment, we wanted to run through some lighting in the entrance um, yes. and just wanted to clarify some bits because they're looking discreet on Saturday, so we just want to make sure that we've got everything covered. Um, are we emitting the down lights around the chandelier high level? Yes. Yeah? Okay, fine. Yep. And are we doing up lighters in the floor, either side of the door internally? 
Uh, the next one was the stair lights. So there's, there's stair lights going in. I think we were, were we going to get a quote for those? Unsure. Unsure. Okay. Okay. I'll put it on the list. Down. Hang on. Let me... So we need to get we need to get a cost for having stair lights put in. Yep. So stair lights, and then it was spots by the door, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. Anything else? Um, no, I think that was that spots was it. In the porch. Cool. Yeah, we've got we've got yeah. spots going in the porch and the overhang. Um, and then in terms of internally, those spot those up lighters. Um, from your guys' point of view, from the design point, are you looking for those to up light on the glass or just past on the sort of internal wall finish? Or have you not thought that ahead yet? Because <laughs> um, we've yeah, got to sort of we've right. got to get a position in place, and they're going to screed yeah. it, so we. Need to try and lock yeah, it in. Yeah. Okay, let me spot by the door uh, position question mark. Let me just, what I'll do is I'll, I'll stick your number in my phone, mm -hmm. I'll squeeze through my emails, and then I'll give you a call back. Perfect, so thank you very much. On. Cool, yeah, thank you. Anything else I need to check out? Um, no, that was it for now. Okay, lovely. Perfect, well, I'll thank you. Back in a few minutes. No worries, cheers. 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 Bye. Bye. Sorted. I guess for now, as long as we get the cables into yeah. that area and then we can we've got obviously until the end of the week to position them up and the ducting and the ducting yeah really it's flexible a little bit yeah just give it a move around but i guess we get the cables in place and coil them up cool yeah yeah let's do it right so we just make our way around but this is going to be the cinema room so this is the basement um we can probably get in through the side here cool. so just up here is where those cables are um coiled up in the kitchen so we're going to be dropping down in this corner and I think up to about halfway of this room is going to be our sort of AV room. Uh, we've got WC there and then cinema room there with a gym to this side here. Um, and then just above you, and calling up here, we've got a staircase coming down with a lovely glass detail. So there's a chandelier up there as well. Um, this is going to house our centralised lighting panel as well. So all of our lighting feeds for the garden, the entrance, and up in that entertaining open plan area, we'll come down into here and that will house our lighting control panel. And from there, we'll be able to control and program scenes and which you know, lights come on with which button presses and at what time, et cetera, et cetera. So it gives us a lot of flexibility with the lights um, within those circuits that we've wired to. The rest of the house is gonna be unconventional and will be normal on off. Um, I think down here, the gym staying conventional, but the cinema room, we will be putting lighting control in as well and possibly a starlight ceiling. Turn that, turn that radio down quickly. Is there anyone in there? So we know that's the diagram. This diagram here. Yeah. All right, cool. So that, this is all going on this wall here, and that inside there. Oh, what, in, wall. In, inside this cupboard here? Yeah. So they're going to have all this side. Mm -hmm. um, with the zone valves and stuff yeah, going in here. All on top of there. And so is it because it's all rads? So upstairs is, so sorry, is there, is there underfloor heating in here? No. No, it's all rads. rads. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. I just want to know if we've got, is every floor a different zone or is that upstairs going to be doing here and upstairs? No, no, no. No. Right. Upstairs circuit is that one. Yeah. Downstairs circuit is this one. Is this one, okay. Underfloor, down there. Okay. And for the basement. Basement. Ah, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. it now. Okay, cool. Yeah, fine. Okay, cool. That's the plan. Yeah. But it's coming out of a low loss header, so it's not mm -hmm. going to be like that. Yeah, and yeah. to try and save space, we're coming out there, there, and there. Okay. So it'd be two, four, and six. Yeah. And probably at some sort of an angle. Mm -hmm. So that box there, that box there was junction boxes effectively mm -hmm. because of we've only got a certain amount of cable out of each of these ones. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And cool. I thought was um, kind of later in life when it all comes to servicing it, yeah. uh, I, it would look nice to have the cable go into the wall and just be lost. <laughs> um, but when it comes to servicing it and needing new motorised valves. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Makes sense. All right, wicked. Cool. No worries. So I guess in terms of stacks, that's, that's for you to decide. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Um, but I guess the question is then to ask Sandy, does she want stats on show or does she want them hidden away? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. 
because yeah, here and upstairs will just be a stat in the hallway, or the stats go in there and then we're and it's air temp sensors. Yeah. But then, if the manifolds downstairs, is that going to all be on one zone, or are they then having? Are they then? Are they then splitting to different zones on the off the manifold when we get downstairs? Do you know? Do you know? We haven't decided that yeah. yet. So that means so it's effectively you could have one zone that will just open up the whole manifold and have no actuators. But then if they want to split it up, then we're going to need a UH8 that or UH4, and then you could have separate stats for each zone. So if they want, you know, I guess the ground floor is different because it's just one open plan. But in the basement, if you've got gym, hallway, cinema yeah. room, you're going to want them on three separate zones. Mm -hmm. So that's three stats downstairs. We were going to ask a question at the minute. I mm -hmm. don't know if there is two manifolds mm -hmm. for the underfloor. Yeah, or, or one. One big one that's going to do the underfloor for it's the down for the basement. Both, for both. Thing. I'm cable up for the panic mm -hmm. button and then sort this keypad out. Yeah. And I think that's us done AV wise. Yeah. And then you lighting wise, we need to pick up from what here? It's just a chandelier down to the basement. Okay. Put you away. You need to go. What do you do? Do you concentrate on that wall and then straight to the basement? I reckon we take it into that corner. And you clip it all the way down that corner within the zone 150, down to the down there, and then ducked under floor. With these, with one of those wall lights. Yeah. We're going to come up for the porch lights up this way, and then. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Hey, Mo, you're right. Yeah. Right. Um, they're like yeah, we're waiting for a quote. Okay. Yeah, no, we'll sort that out, okay. <laughs> yeah. How many, how many fittings in total? Uh, no, just the directional ones. The directional. The directions in the kitchen. How many is there? Seven. Seven. Double check. Yeah. At the minute, it looks like seven. Cool. You still in it? Is that right? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's just said in that L shape. Six. Six. Mm, yes. No, but you, one, two, three. Okay, it's looking like six. Six. Yeah. Is, is, that, is that to go over the work surface side? Cheers, Mel. Thank you. Bye. Boom. Happy days. Hey, Mel. It's Ben again. Yeah, just having a thought. These, um, like the bifold doors and the curtains, um, the glass where the staircase is, there's not going to be a, a, you know, a curtain on that side or a blind on that side, is there? Is that not, 
Is that something that's is that something that's been missed? The side. So if, I mean, if we're looking at the you know if we're looking looking at the side of the house, one one half is going to be you have a blind on, but the staircase going down to the basement. There's no there isn't going to be any window treatment there. Sorry, one second, it's really, they're Sorry. cutting, no, it's fine. Um, I can only sort of see details from the render. It just looks like it's gonna just be a large, you know, just a large glass, similar to like how the front is the elevation, just without the door. So essentially, if you were to close the blinds, there's still gonna be, for example, light or people will be able to see in through that section of glass. Okay. Okay. But then that would be this. That would be the same. If the sun's coming in, they just cover it. They're only sort of cover, cutting it out from one half of that, you know, side. The light coming in from the side of the property. Yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. There's. There's. I mean, I think they've got the, they're just, I think we're just waiting to choose it, whether they go for Silent Gliss or Luxaflex. Um, but the blind size isn't, oh, she's, she's cut off. Imagine. Rude. Oh. She, uh, hi. I didn't, I thought I offended you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, a blind size is okay. I just, I just thought, oh, have, has, you know, has it yeah, been missed? No, I, I hadn't at all. Yeah. That one, to be fair. So I would, I, I would quote it in if we came and okay. because it's like I said, Sandy. Even if we put the mechanisms in now, mm -hmm. which is a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Um, even if they don't want to put the blinds in yet, yeah. at least the, the gubbins is all there for when they do, which will save them fortune later on. Yeah. I guess all, yeah. I guess all we need to think about, as long as the cables there and the recess is there, then it can be yeah. put in. So I don't know if you guys need to. I don't know, you know, how far you guys are designing, but it, is that sort of recess detail? Is that Josh's department, or is that something that you guys yeah. are? Um, I know at the, in the bedroom we're sort of thinking about putting something behind the door panel, but I'm not sure about the arbitrary type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would do the same on the seat in the hug area. Okay, cool. All right, perfect. Yeah, because then right. it's all the stuff that left from that floor. Yeah, okay, cool. All I right. think it's just going into the ceiling, to be honest. Yeah. I don't think there's any fancy stuff going around them, from yeah. what I remember. Okay, perfect. All right. Cool. All right, cheers, thank you. Cheers. All right. Right, so basically what we've just realised is they're going to be putting blinds on this back bifold in that side, but then this area here is all glass and there's nothing stopping the light flooding in. We've got a TV going on this wall. So if you've got any glare coming in and they saw, oh, let's, let's close the, just close the shades. It's not going to do anything on this, on this, um, this glass detail here. So we've just, we'll allow for another cable in this section uh, and maybe they can build a recess. And so if they want to, we can just slide the blind in.
Right guys, so that's it for today, we've wrapped up. So a lot of first fix done, a lot of problems that we've managed to overcome and put into discussion. Uh, so next time you'll see us here, we will be bringing the equipment in and beginning to get it installed. And then you'll really start to see the home come together. So until then, take it easy guys.